out of field in the field. This is Shadow Squid here. And, oh, I killed him! Nice! And I'm back out in the Mall Abbey in Fallout New Vegas. Okay, following last episode, I oh took I took some free time earlier today to uh <clears throat> requisition some stuff. Hello, I see. potential customer. So I went to some vendors around the Mojave, vendors I knew of that could give me some extra ammo, and I found this. The night vision scope for the varmint rifle at last. Now when this one was a particularly fan this one was a particularly dream item I had in low priority at the time. It wasn't anything special. But now that I have this, maybe the varmint rifle could be put to better use other than just being some weak ass rifle. That leaves much to be desired. Anywho. I'm thinking I take my time exploring the Mojave. Oh my seeing which go see, seeing which is which. That sort of stuff. And we can start by hitting the Repcon headquarters. <clears throat> I took up a quest when I uh, visited McCarran Airport on my way to uh What's he say? I took up a. I just saying I took up something on my way to McCarran Airport, and now I've got some. And now I've got something in stick. I just gotta pick up some guys' corpse and then bring them back. Whoop! Got the rifle. I forgot about that. Okay, Repcon, Repcon. It ain't far. Yeah, okay, got a dash to cover. Okay! They just, they just became a bigger threat. Oh my god! God dang it, this is already getting frustrating. Die already. Thank you. Hunting rifle. Nothing of high priority. But bear traps. Ooh, another one. Ooh, poor guy. Ranger Morales, poor fella. 
You didn't deserve to go out like this. Oh, he's doing the, crit, the ultimate crit build casings. Hmm. <laughs> It didn't have much of value. Yeah, why are you fucking How heavy is this guy? Get you out of here. Here it is, the sandbags. Be careful out there. Whoa. I'm going I'm going to retrieve the body of Ranger Morales trooper. Christina hired you, huh? Well, if you're gonna go up there, Esteban's body's in the middle of those buildings at the hill there. Look carefully and you can see the fiends patrolling the rooftops. But they laid traps too. There's mines all over. So for God's sakes, watch your feet. Get him back here. We'll get him home. Thanks for the help. At least we can do. We already lost Jackson doing what you're trying to do. Come on. I have the body right here. Poor guy. Oh my god, are you okay? You've got to get to a medic. Doc Kemp can patch you up back at base. How could you sacrifice your body like that? You never even met him. If the NCR doesn't have a medal for this, they should make one up. Yeah. I made a promise to Private Morales. There must be some kind of coat of honor you hold yourself to. You're like a man possessed. We'll make sure Ranger Morales' body gets sent back home. You don't have to, you know, pick him up on your shoulder and haul him to California. Even though I believe you would if you had to. You should go tell Private Morales the news. I know she'll be relieved. Likewise. I'm not picking up that armor. That's one thing handled. Now about the notes. Let's retrieve. Let's head back to Camp McCarran.
on course. Miss Christina Morales. Did you start looking for Esteban? I guess my directions could have been better. I brought his body to an NCR position. He's on his way back to my Karen. You can calm down. They put him in a box? With a flag and all? I hope so. He'd have been proud. You did what you said you would, and I owe you. Just like I promised. This is Esteban's back pay. Every cap. Maybe the caps are all that matter to you, but... You still did more for Esteban than his own country did. Thank you. You're welcome. 50 bottle caps. It'll do. busy at the moment. What is this place? This? The OSI lab. We don't get many visitors. The smell puts people off, I think. Nobody ever said science would smell clean and fresh. Anyway, you get used to it if you give it some time. Are you a scientist? I know, I don't sound the part. Get raised by Brahmin ranchers and you never lose the twang. Drives Hildren crazy. But I know every inch of the power grid from Hoover Dam to Shady Sands. That's what we do here. Try to optimize the power output from the dam. Some of the others are working on an agricultural project, but truth be told, they aren't making much progress. Not yet, anyway. What's your role here? Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. Need help with anything? You mean, give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. What What for? I can't say. We're not supposed to talk about the research. Not the details. If you're interested, I'm sure he'd see you. Thomas A Hildern. pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? No, this is actually the first I've heard about it. No, they wouldn't have grieved you, would they? Probably better that our junior fellows stay within the bounds of their pay grade anyway. Vault 22. Where to begin? <clears throat> I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? I'd say so. I mean, I'm sit I'm standing in the middle of a destroyed Las Vegas, the state of Nevada. I'd say nothing is impossible, Doc. Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over. But how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. The bounty I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. Hell, sounds a little hard to believe. I don't think any vault would live through this sort of crap. Skepticism can be forgiven, but I think you'll come around if the reports I've heard are true. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Is that Plants so? are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. 
I'll think about it. Very well. I hope you'll consider this an open offer from the OSI. Now I'm sure your time is valuable, so unless there was anything else... Um... I had some other questions. Tell me more about the OSI. The Office of Science and Industry. It's a rather expensive topic. I could talk for hours, but I'm sure I'd bore you. Suffice to say, we are the leading edge of the NCR. Our work focuses on practical matters. Medicine, engineering, biology. The dam, for instance. OSI roots its energy supply to our cities in the West. That's only one responsibility of this office. You said you were the director? Director of the entire OSI? Me? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to plant seditious ideas in my head. <laughs> no, I direct our eastern operations. I've been responsible for squeezing unprecedented levels of power from the dam. I'm also confronting the problem of food production in what little spare time I have. But I've found some promising leads. You're doing all this yourself? Yes, with the assistance of my team, of course. NCR has a sort of food shortage? That doesn't sound far-fetched, but it'll go on. Not yet, but our government understands the value of proactive thought. Our studies project an imbalance between production and consumption. Or, for a layman such as yourself, not enough food, too many mouths to feed. Mass starvation in a decade or so. What, are, what other responsibilities does the OSI offices have? We aid some programs the Republic has sponsored involving sharecropper farms in the area. But those haven't panned out too well from what I hear. There have been complaints about the amount of water we're supplying. But those are just excuses for lack of diligence, I'm sure. Okay, NCR's chances against Kaiser's Legion. What do you think of them? To be frank, I have no idea. I leave the fighting to Colonel Shu, and I expect him to leave the science to me. Too many people have opinions on things they know nothing about. And the more ignorant they are, the more opinions they have. I'll... I'll go. We spoke earlier. I'll investigate the Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy. And you'll be certain to bring me any what notes or samples that you find, won't you? Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data. Downloading the data will be handled by your Pip-Boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended. I'll be... likewise. Okay, that's another quest picked up. Something I can do for you? Look who it is. I haven't had the privilege, but I'm told you've Hugh? been an angel on our shoulder. What can we do for you at Camp Karen? I'll give you something. I bet I could make the Legion prisoner talk. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent. But I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. NCR intelligence. I could look into the leaks. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Thank you.
carry boys? You stick out like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? You need any... Who are you? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. You need any help? Yeah. So far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's Legion recently. Is this a big deal? Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's Legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, oh who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. <clears throat> what do you think it means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. Have you tried calling him hurtful names? Yes, and one time I thought I saw a tear when I told him his uniform was unflattering. But I think he just got some dust in his eye. Uh, truth serum. True drug, to be specific. Don't have anything like that. <laughs> Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. But even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. Beat him senseless. I feel like that'll work. I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. So you want me to do what you exactly can? I think if you rough him up enough, and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. I don't exactly consent to war crimes. Let's get started. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Let's see what you got. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tight <laughs> I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough oh, when I they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus? If you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. 
I'll I'll take that as a compliment. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? Okay, so the only things I've got on my person are pistols and close range weapons. If I'm gonna beat a man, I'm gonna look good doing it. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? <clears throat> you, s you smell like excrement. So there. I must admit that a conversation with an imbecile may be far oh worse God. than the kind of torture I was anticipating. But somehow I think I'll manage. You're gonna tell me everything you know, Silas. Me? Let's start with that. Of course, of course. All you had to do was ask. I'll tell you everything I know. Let's see. I know that you're a brainless cretin. I know that you're wasting your time. I know the lieutenant is going to be disappointed in you. And I know that by this time next month, the streets of New Vegas will be decorated with the decaying heads of NCR soldiers. Is there anything else you wanted to know? I'll be right back. Let's finish this up, then we can talk. Let's let's finish this up, then we can talk. Hello. Actually, you want to you really want to piss me off right now, do you? Know? What? I know one thing I'm gonna do now. What? You pissed me off. Now you're going to die. Oh my. All right. Get away from me. You sound your goddamn warrant. You weren't supposed to kill him. God damn it. Not only did we not get any information, but now you've ended his suffering, uh -huh. too. Shit. Guess I can forget about a promotion this decade. Thanks a lot, asshole. Fuck. What am I gonna tell the colonel? Okay. Goodbye. Dude, where's the planted? Thanks for the armor, pal. By me. Hmm. What if I and I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up the What an ugly little worm you You just pissed me off. On your way out. Whoa. I've got you now. Watch out. Let's finish the And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. <laughs> you can pick them up from the locker on your way out. What an ugly little worm. It's white. What if I... Dude, 
What? You're gonna tell me everything you know. Of course. Let's see. And I know that by this time... And I'll need you to surrender your weapons oh. before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Pick me out. How the hell am I gonna handle that guy? Surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. What an ugly little worm you are. I must admit that it. But. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way it out. Never seems to work. What is it? Curtis? Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Uh, what do you do here? Officially, I'm in charge of Bravo Company. But since General Oliver has Bravo and most of our forces here garrison, I'm free to do other things. So I work with Colonel Shu on logistics, patrols, supply lines, reinforcements, that sort of thing. Lately it's been less about that, and more about figuring out how that information is getting leaked to raiders. It's a big base with a lot of unhappy soldiers. They get stir-crazy. Hard to separate the malcontents from the actual culprit. That reminds me, uh, Colonel Shu? Wanted me to help you look into the recent intelligence leaks. You got anything about those? Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last leak went cold weeks ago. <clears throat> Where do I start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Let's get yeah. started. Let's, yeah. let's finish this up. Then we can talk. Give me a sec. Can't believe I gotta do this crap. Because I can't exactly talk to her at this point in time. I'm gonna have to do this all over again. God dang it. Thank you. 
Let's just get him back to what? neutral ground. Then Where I got. Then I gotta start taking up jobs. I need the EXP. Be there with you, but the colonel said he'd have our necks if we tried. Don't tell me I gotta take the body out of the vicinity and then back in. God freaking darn it. Trigger. Oh my god, are you okay? There we go, that's better. Who it is. Captain.
A little busy at the moment. Let's speed run all the details. A pleasure to meet you. Dr. Hildern, this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Yeah, data from Bowl 22. Why are you... Yeah. Just that. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius, and... and he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? No. But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. Isn't right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. I'll try, but no promises. That's all I ask. She might even be able to help you. As long as you don't speak too well of Dr. Hildern. Okay. You stick out like a sore thumb around. Who are you? Aww. Okay, um. Let's start getting. Let's start getting to the intelligence week. So let's start with that. Nice to meet you. Whoever I'm Okay. Suspicious activity at Camp McCarran. Let's start with let's get to that point. You're back. Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Now what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Uh, you said... thefts? Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, the little weasel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched his possessions a dozen times. Nothing. I'll keep an eye out. Good. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. Uh, break-ins. Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Uh, control access key. Would you be willing to hand that out, hand it to me so I could check it out? Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. And that's all I'm gonna If you need. can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. There's something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. Who's missing? Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. Anything... anyone else? Yeah. 
The man I'm more interested in is Corporal White. White had a lot of promise, wanted to be a ranger as bad as anyone I've seen. But he also had some extracurricular activities going. Now he's gone. I'll see what I can find out. Word around the bases, he'd been going regularly to visit a hooker named Dazzle at Gamora. That's a casino on the Strip. Classy place. His belongings are up in the barracks in the concourse building. First bunk on your left if you're facing it from the center. I haven't had a chance to look through his things yet, so that might be a good place to begin. What else can you tell me about Anders? I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk to. I'll be seeing you. Hello? Control tower. There it is. Work for him, God. And work for me. Okay, now it's becoming more apparent. I, I think I know what to do. Save 28 and <laughs> There we go. I got the two I got the two words per se. Get me the other one. Because I got two words again. Alter. Shut up. Let's go. If you know what, screw it. Control tower access. Access this tower at these hours. This is lower. Saves. Bingo. Control tower access log. No names for entries and exits. 
What's going on here? Twelve thirty to eighteen hundred. Okay, it's six AM to Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. six AM? She was on top. I don't see anybody coming here. No, she was on top. Not not yet. That's a drop shot. What the hell? Late night. What if I waited for 6 a.m.? She was. She dropped it in. An hour's past. Oh, oh, my. Oh, oh, my. Something's wrong here. Something's terribly wrong here. Nothing on the radio. Five attempts. Run. Ah! Trust. Brick. Oh, no, I'm ready. Oh, no, I'm ready. There we go. Making some progress. Any moment now. Eighty hundred. 
Sa pantry na sa top. To to to. Cheers. To to to. I'll sit. Nothing yet. Okay, let's take a look here. Mirrors. 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 Oh, come on. Where's B side for you, Bob? Wait, I did it. I forgot to walk into these walls. Wednesdays. Schumann Barker. Tower, tower, no tower. Wait a sec. How will rain it? Rain old evening shift. Whoa, 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 whoa. Four exits. 1800 6 p.m. Grants by me. Moment slow. Moment slow. Holy shit, this one was kind of insane.
Sunny Seeds din. Morning, yeah, man. Just a touch. Um, is that that?
Six nine. Got him. Got him good. One forty one. territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10-4, Picus. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission, Picus? Charges are set. Detonation will... will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Couple of minutes. Over. 10-4. Keep us updated. 10-4. Okay, you son of a bitch. I got a 357 and I ain't afraid to use it. What are you doing here? You don't have clearance. I have a clearance for catching spies, you son of a bitch. I don't know what you mean. Hey! Not worthy of being a soldier, you goddamn traitor. What? What if I? I'm going to enjoy this. Go ahead, Picus. Afternoon. That's you. Patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10 4, Picus. Fiends will be on the Legion. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of Legion or Fiend? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves oh, the station. Over. Shoot. How long? Couple of minutes. Over. 10 4. Keep us updated. 10 4. What are you doing here? You they were at the I have a clearance for catching spies, I you son of a bitch. You're mine. You can die slumping over that radio like the dog you always are. Captain Ronald Curtis, you traitor! Okay, get rid of the Merc Grunt outfit. Boone isn't far. Come on! Boone, bad news. Fine by me. We got a bomber. Come on! I've got you. Come on, let's go! Okay. 
I'm not a one come on! I just gotta save the monorail from being... Oh, the hell? Do we just on Bobo? Come on, come on! Do we just on Bobo? Planted the goddamn bomb. Come on, come on, come on. Freaking hell. Hope you, hope it was worth it selling your boys out. Cause I, cause you just got six bullets for your trouble. Seven Goddamn bullets. prick. Look who it is. I. You won't be having problems with intelligence weeks anymore, James. No. What? Curtis, Legion. He tried to blow up the goddamn monorail. Curtis. He's been in the NCR long before a conflict with the Legion. There's just no way. I hope you're mistaken, but somehow I don't think so. It explained a lot. This is much worse than anyone expected. There could be others, too. You've done everything that was asked of you. You have my personal thanks for this. And I'll make sure you receive the credit you deserve. Likewise. Exploring and doing jobs. God, I love this. Equal compensator. Let's see. Rush gun. Cowboy repeater custom action. Gatling laser, lightweight frame. Huh. I'll take the 4570 and nothing more. by me. 
There we go. I think I know what to do. Here we go. What's in your store then? Sorry, it's not online. Up with the egg. No, you can't carry your stuff. Hey! Something's wrong here. Please, like, thumbs. Take your uh, sheriff's hat this so smart. and the we sledgehammer will take it off your body. Fine by me. There we go. Take that off of you. Now, let's handle the matter. Of, let's handle the matter of Oris. He ain't far. If you need to cross freeze How much for your services? 200 cat I'll take your offer Done and done I want to mention a few things up front We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down No detours You go off sightseeing and I go off to find another customer I'll keep a brisk pace So try not to fall behind Now let's head out Likewise Oh no fucking way. <laughs> I, I fucking played this like five times. To your left here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Oh crap. Runtime error. I can't believe I gotta do that though. Let's try that again. What 
can't believe I had to. I can't believe I had to crash at a time like that. Big iron, buddy. I'm gonna handle that prick, I'm gonna handle that prick. If I look back on it, I'll look back on it. to cross free to your left here is the old Mormon fort you get roughed up the followers there will patch you right up you will find that I ever knew their services the second I find out your head on the next block is where the Kings hang out don't let them come to Nick and Ralph for all your shopping needs the second I find out your bull crap though, I'm gonna make sure you're I'm gonna make sure you regret crossing me. Oh come on. Stopped working already. Let's try one more time. If this, if I get to finish this quest, I can. I think I can. I think I can sleep. Let's get this over with. Come on. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen free stuff until you've been to the Wrangler. Is that so? He's got an interesting gun on his hip. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Alright. Standings. Those weren't there the last time I tried it. He's got his gun drawn. Gotcha. You get ambush us, huh? Wait a minute, three shots, four bullets. Nothing to worry about. You fired only three shots, and there were four guys there. You sound sus. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. <laughs> you faked this old thing up to drum up repeat business. That guy, that guy was just lying there. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. I want all the money you have on you. I think I can make it. 
I think I can make it to the Kings from here. I ought to take my chances and kill you right here, but you may be right. Here, take this. Don't think this is over, though. I'll have that money back, out of your hide if I have to. Thank you. Damn the body closely. Let's just kill this one and be done with it. You don't cross me like that. Come on. I'll pop you faster. Swing a shot! Kill him! Thanks for the spike knuckles, pal. Oi, you son of a bitch! Been hitting the lamp post. Come on. You're mine. Oh, come on. Really? Well, at least, at least that's handled. Fine by me. Fine by me. Revolver. Nobody cheats me like that. Nobody. Level in the building. 
King. What do you have for me? Or it shouldn't be a problem any longer. Ah, so it went down like that, huh? I guess it can't be helped now. Well, you're not subtle, but you get the job done. That's good enough for me. Maybe you can help me with something more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. I'll head over right away. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. Likewise, King. Lots of desks. Oh my god, wait, there's someone there. <laughs> Hi. A bit of grilled mantis. Roy, what is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? The king, the king asked, the king has sent me and asked me to look into your attack, good sir. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. What the fuck were you gonna pick up ASAP? Do you remember anything about the people who hit on you? They were big guys. Young, too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. What can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. I have to get going. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. Wayne? That true? Did the king really send you? He did. And anything you... And could you tell anything about what happened? It, it could help. I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Every bit helps. Ooh. Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. Might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Lieutenant. Tenant, that's what he called him. Lieutenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. You can't be serious. Lieutenant, a lieutenant of the NTR. God damn it. I can't believe I gotta tell the king about this. What's your shit. problem?
Thanks, mister. Heaven, heaven, no, heaven, heaven. Likewise. That's better. Mr. King? Have you found anything out? Local men were attacked by soldiers. One of them one of them was identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's gotta be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas. But now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Um, okay. Hey. What? If it can be bought, it can be found at Nick. Watch out. You're funny looking. <laughs> Don't even get started. Don't even get me started. Are Marcus? you here to drop off medical Um... What is this place? The Old Mormon Fort serves as the regional hub for the followers of the Apocalypse. I am the administrator for this region. Uh, who are the followers of the Apocalypse? We arose from the boneyards of Adidam years ago. Since then, we have made it our mission to rebuild the wasteland and re-educate its inhabitants. We hope to forge a brave new world free of war and poverty by sharing knowledge and resources. Our primary goal is the free exchange of ideas. What do you do here? The followers of the Apocalypse aren't just interested in research. We care for our fellow man and do everything we can to help humanity. Here in Freeside, we provide food and medical services for those in need. We also have organized reconstruction efforts. With the help of Bill Ronte, we were able to install a water pump just west of here. But the Kings quickly took control of the pump. Okay, let's talk about something else. Things seem pretty rough here in Freeside. More than one. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. Anything I can try and do to help? There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community, if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Let's talk about Freeside. What did you... What's... what's all the fuss about the water pump? Bill Ronte installed that pump a few years ago, back when he was sober. It was a major improvement for the community. But lately, the Kings have started charging locals to use it, and NCR squatters twice as much. That'll come to no good. The Kings, who do you think they are? 
They've been Freeside's gang for the past five years or so. Ever since Mr. House and his three families pushed everyone else out of Vegas. They've done a lot of good for the community, but that seems to be changing. The flood of NCR squatters has been an affront to them. I guess that explains the situation with the water pump. Usually, the King wouldn't let his crew bully folks around like that. Mick and Ralph, what do you know about them? I know they sell a lot of guns, as if that's what Freeside needs. I hear Mick handles the guns. No idea what Ralph does. Van Graff, what do you know about them? Oh, them. They sell energy weapons, which are very popular with better-heeled prospectors looking to explore the wastes. Stay clear of them. Brother and sister are both psychopaths, though at least Gloria is rational. Jean-Baptiste likes killing. All right. What's the Atomic Wrangler? I, I keep seeing the sign outside. A den of iniquity. The Garretts do more than their share to keep the locals drunk or high enough to stay lazy. They're thugs, on the other hand. They keep wired on chems to stay dangerous. What is it with Freeside and brother-sister psychopath teams? Okay, let's talk about something else. NCR soldiers. You know anything about them here in Freeside? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? Anything you could tell me? Anything else you can tell me about them? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Um... Okay, okay, we're getting... Okay, if, if I wanted things to calm down in Freeside, where could I where could I start? The big man around here is the king. Not much happens okay. in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally. And some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside ah, locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Okay, okay. Drop, 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 never mind. You got supplies? What do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are okay, Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. <laughs> okay, seems like you need a steady supply, not just whatever I can grab for you. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Alright, which merchants might be willing to make a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garretts. Though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. Uh huh. I think you got yourself a deal. Just come see. <laughs> Let's see here. You know what? Screw it. Something about helping addicts. That's the last thing I gotta ask. Yes. Old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. Yeah. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Hmm. High times. Tell me about Bill Ronte. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump. If he sobered I up. Jacob, what do you know about him? I can't, I can't the Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural you, chemist. Where should I start walking? In Freeside, the drunks and drug yeah, addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. I'll see what I can do to help them. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. Okay, I'd like to talk about something else. And goodbye. 
I want to add an extra save. <laughs> and I think I might need to cut out the recording here. If you like this, Hello. which might not be possible, but man, a kid, a boy's gotta keep his hopes up. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to uh, look back <clears throat> on the other parts, there I got a playlist that's compiled of all the videos. Anyways, if you like this, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, this is Shadow Squid. Leaping away. Hello.